Hello and welcome to a new video on this channel guys. This one's gonna be a pretty chill one. A few weeks ago I was at the Defi Wind and I kept having catapult after catapult after catapult. I asked you guys whether you wanted to know why this happened because I did actually find out why it happened. And so this is what this video is gonna be about. First of all, a huge, huge thank you to all of you for all the comments under the last videos. I'm just so happy to be able to give back to you guys by giving you an opportunity to win this amazing board. It's very unfortunate that that only one person can actually win. Kind of always breaks my heart uh, when I start the random common picker tool, which I did. So the winner has been chosen. I'll leave the name under the last two videos so you can find out who won. And it's gonna be on my Instagram story today so you can actually see that I used that tool to pick a random person to win. Hopefully he or she will send me a photo or video with the board which I can then share with you. Again, thanks to all of you for commenting, watching, following. It really means the world to me and it's absolutely incredible that we have become the biggest windsurfing community on YouTube here on this channel. So thanks a lot for that. So back to the Defi Wind. Three catapults in four races. Now that's quite a lot. Some of them, as I said, were a little bit harder. Some of them a little bit less hard but it was definitely happening a bit too often which is not usually the case and especially there I was in full control so I figured something was strange. At first I also thought uh, that I kept hitting stuff in the water but others didn't have the problem and three times in a row it was also a little bit strange. So I went and analyzed the video of the crash and I also thought about what was different to last time when I was foiling and I didn't have that problem. And so the only thing I actually changed was the foil mast because my other foil mast was in a repair shop so I unwrapped the new mast and put it right into the board. Now why would the mast cause such a catapult. I thought about it, I analyzed, and one thing you have to keep in mind about those catapults is that they were super abrupt. And then when I looked at the footage, I saw some kind of cavitation. The mass would kind of suck air, I would uh, stall and immediately crash. So if you look really closely, you can see some sort of cavitation right before the board starts going down. And it's important to know that it didn't happen because I came out of the water with a foil so the foil must have stalled. Now, why would the foil stall all of a sudden just by changing the mass, which by the way was the exact same model? And the answer is that I did sand the surface of the mast of the old mast, but not of the new one. But why is that relevant? Most carbon pieces which you buy have some kind of hydrophobic uh, finish on them. Now I have a foil mast right here, and as you can see, the water is peeling right off. So little drops are formed and they're peeling right off. Now what you want to do is you want to create the opposite of a hydrophobic surface, which is a hydrophilic surface. And this is something all professional windsurfers do to improve the hydrodynamics around the foil to create a more efficient foil and make it faster. And what I never considered is that this surface of the mass could actually cause cavitation. And this might not matter for many people because it could only happen from a certain speed. But after talking to a few people and a few friends, I learned that I'm not the only one with this observation. So now let me show you how I go about to fix this problem. So what I do is I grab super, super fine sandpaper, something with a graining between 1000 and 2000. And there are a couple of theories uh, behind the different grainings. And I'm not a physicist, so I'm not gonna give you an advice about something I don't know everything about. But the theory is that the more fine the paper, the more it will give you potential for top speed. And the more rough it is, the more it will uh, increase the control. So if you use something around 1000, it will increase the control. And then all the way up to 2000, it will give you more speed potential. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and sand the foil with very little pressure in the direction of the water flow. And this might actually take you a while. And you're gonna do this until you see that the water sticks to the foil and doesn't just peel off. So check out the difference between the area that I sanded right here, where the water stays on, and this area where the water peels right off. Also take a look at this foil mast which I have sanded before. The water just sticks to the foil mast. 
and that's already it obviously you can send all the different carbon parts of your foil and uh, there are more theories on how to actually sand it in different water temperatures which i'm not going to go into detail now also because i don't know enough about it yet this is a pretty simple trick to improve the performance of the foil a little bit and avoid those cavitations that i had one more thing i don't think it's a good idea to sand aluminum parts so this is a pretty carbon specific thing yeah guys it's getting pretty freezing out here in northern germany and i'm gonna be off to thailand soon for starboard development and some other things i'm not sure how many videos i can make from there but be sure that there are some exciting things planned for 2022 so stay tuned for that thanks a lot for tuning in and i see you in the next video